name's Stephanie Bradbury and I'm the manager of the Office for Scholarly Communication in QUT Library. And this is a behind the scenes look at our office where you will meet some of our experts that support QUT's scholarly communication needs. In 2020, QUT Library's research support team transitioned to the Office for Scholarly Communication or the OSC. And this change aimed to reshape the research support team into an entity that more accurately reflected the work undertaken and implied expertise of the staff and services offered. The change also aimed to introduce governance and an organisational structure that increased the efficiency and productivity for the library and QUT researchers and captured the diversity of research and research outputs at QUT. Part of the change to governance included the introduction of an OSC advisory group that's made up of about 12 active researchers and a small number of professional staff. I think the foundation of the OSC advisory group has been a great strategic move that contributed to raising the profile of the library and OSC amongst researchers. This year, really looking forward to sinking our teeth into other challenges, including promoting and engaging and more transformative or read and publish agreements, interrogating UNSUB to optimise alternatives to the big deals and expensive journal bundles, providing more definition and delineation around our service levels, and enabling more open education resources with press books, in particular, our very own 23 scholarly communication things. Hi there, my name is Jenny Barber. I'm the academic co-lead for the Office of Scholarly Communications at QUT. Uh, my role is to support the work of all of the OSC, specifically through liaising with academic and university leadership at QUT, including through our OSC advisory board. I've got a background in policy development, especially open access, and my other role is in helping align QUT policy with relevant national and international initiatives. QUT has always had a strong group of professionals in research support. Um, However, moving to a new structure in 2020, from the research support team to the Office for Scholarly Communication, and especially establishing our university-wide advisory board, has given the team greater visibility across QUT. The current structure clarifies the role we play in providing proactive support and advice to the QUT research community. The past few years, especially 2020, have been a time of rapidly evolving change in scholarly communication, and 2021 is going to be no different. Our challenge will be in responding to the changes and providing timely and high quality support for our research community. The newly established OSC structure and the strong, strong connections that OSC liaison librarians have across the university means we are well placed to respond to these changes in a way that supports the university's priorities. I'm Paula Callan, I'm the scholarly communications librarian and I look after a number of publishing related services including our APC support uh, for publishing in open access journals, our own open access journal hosting service and QT ePrints, our institutional repository. Uh, last year one of our biggest challenges was the integration of our repository with Pure, the university's new research information management system. Um, we're still dealing with some of the impacts there but it seems to be coming good and in the coming year some of our challenges um, will be improving our metadata to make sure our content appears as open access in Trove um, and also um, improving some of our open access journals one of which is Q1 and we'd like to help some of the others improve their rankings too. Hi, I'm Tanya Harden and I'm the Scholarly Impact Librarian. I manage the Publication Metrics Service at QUT Library. Uh, the Publication Metrics Service provides metrics data and reports as well as advice and workshops to the research community at QUT. The service is delivered by liaison librarians, the research support librarian and myself. One of the main aspects of the service is providing metrics for grant applications, so we're really quite busy at the moment. The OSC commenced in 2020 and I think it's really gained some traction at QUT thanks to the efforts of Stephanie, Ginny and the members of our advisory group. Uh, I think it's raised the profile of QUT Library's research support services. One challenge in 2021 for my service is the increasing demand for metrics data and reports. This is great for the service but we need to be able to manage it within the existing amount of staff time that we have. So this year we're planning to develop more self-help resources for researchers and 
use more templates and also develop and implement an online request form. Hi, I'm Philippa Frame. And I'm Marvin Van Proyen. And together we share the role of Research Data Librarian. As part of managing the library's research data management service, we provide advice and support to high degree research students and staff around finding, planning, storing, sharing, publishing and preserving research data. We also coordinate the ongoing maintenance of Research Data Finder, QT's data repository, as well as the QT data management planning tool. We also identify, describe and make QT research data sets available to the research community. And we develop and maintain research data resources and websites. We develop and deliver data management workshops and drop-ins, provide advice and training around accessing Australian Bureau of Statistics microdata in our role as ABS contact officer, and collaborate with interdepartmental groups such as the Office of Research Ethics and Integrity and the eResearch Office to develop policies, procedures and training material. The biggest challenge and opportunity that we anticipate for 2021 is the commencement of a two-year project that aims to enhance QT's research capabilities by improving our high-performance computing infrastructure and research data lifecycle management. Hello, I'm Katya Henry and I'm the University Copyright Officer at QT. And I'm Rani McLennan, I'm the Copyright Information Officer. And together, Rani and I deliver the copyright service to students and staff, and that includes ensuring adherence to our obligations under the Copyright Act and license agreements. We provide a consultancy advice service to staff and students, and we provide appropriate strategic advice to working parties and groups regarding copyright matters. So our last year, of course, was a massive year for copyright. We had the matter of the uh, statutory education licence before the Copyright Tribunal. We finalised the tertiary music licence. And then, of course, on top of all of that, there was um, COVID and the need to move everything very quickly online. This year, we are looking forward to implementing our strategy of copyright literacy in the QUT community, which involves working with a number of partners throughout the university, um, developing accessible, engaging and useful resources. Um, we're also looking forward to the proposed government reforms and the new statutory licence agreement. Hello, my name is Jenny Hall. I'm the Research Information Skills Coordinator here at QUT. In this role, I look after three areas. One, IFN 001, which is Advanced Information Research Skills, better known as AIRS. This is a mandatory unit for HDR students coming into a PhD or an MPhil here at QUT. The second is the Research Skills Program, which is delivered across the university to engage with our HDR students, but also our research staff. Thirdly, the research, referencing applications. So referencing applications in terms of supporting EndNote and other referencing software, who, whatever um, our staff and students are using. 2020, wow, what a year. Um, we took everything online in terms of our workshops, as many of you would have been complicated by working from home. Um, but through that process, we were able to then develop pedagogically sound online workshops, which we're really thrilled with. And 21, we're looking at further developing our online resources to engage with our very diverse populations. Thank you. All right, hello, my name is Catherine Radbourne. I am the Research Support Librarian in the Office for Scholarly Communications at QUT. Uh, in my role, I help organise the um, events, different events that we have. Uh, I do bibliometrics and citation reporting and tracking. Um, I give advice on research data management and scholars, scholarly publishing strategies and I'm also in the process of working on our 23 scholarly communication themes which is being released to QUT staff this year and hopefully next year um, we'll release it to the wider world. <laughs>